Breaking news, you will be shocked. As in Lagos currently, there's the PVC you know, clash. What is happening is as a result of the new electoral law, some of the things that are there, all things being done decently and in order, guess what? It will be difficult for some persons to manipulate the election process, all things being done decently and in order. So PDP is accusing Tinubu says the whole PVC clash, you know, and all that is going on. Tinubu is very afraid of the 2023 elections. And that's why, you know, Igbo youths came and they, you know, what they did was that Igbo youths, I mean, Alaba market was closed down in Lagos. More than 10 billion, you know, dollars was lost on that day. I mean, averagely, when they take the estimate of how much, you know, money it's made and all that. They closed their shops, every one of them, to get their PVC, but hoodlums refused them. And so PDP is saying uh, Tinubu is scared. He does not want people to get their PVC because of, um, you know, if they do, things may happen. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Lagos PVC clash. Tinubu is afraid of 2023 elections. PDP <laughs> says... The People Democratic Party on Saturday said Nigerians are disturbed by the devastating actions instigated by leaders of the All Progressive Congress APC to prevent citizens, particularly people from the Southeast region residing in Lagos State, from collecting their permanent voters card PVC to enable them and give them the opportunity to vote in the 2023 general elections. Alaba market was closed with traders going around and refused to go to their shops all in a bid to get their PVC so they could vote for the candidate of their choice. In a statement signed by Dable, National Publicity Secretary of the People Democratic Party obtained by Politics Nigeria, the main opposition party said the alleged action by, by the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State is part of the desperate design to use violence to sabotage free fair credible election in 2023 having realized that nigerians have rejected the presidential candidate of the all progressive congress ashiwaju ahmed bola Tinubu, ahead of the polls ashiwaju ahmed bola Tinubu has been in fear of the swearing popularity of the pdp candidate atiku abubakar and peter Obi. Hence, the attempt by the APC to stop Nigerians from obtaining their PVC to vote in the election so they can use it to vote in their behalf. An action that pretends serious threat and danger to our democratic process, PDP has said. It is not an iota of what government and democracy should be that pretends and prevents people from getting their rightful due process PVC to be able to vote for the candidate of their choice. APC is already suffering from the pre-election fever syndrome that it cannot win in a free, fair, credible, transparent process. Yet Nigerians are allowed to vote and express their will to pick their choice. It is particularly disturbing that this pattern is uh, reoccurring and previous attempts of what happened in 2019, where APC leaders harassed Nigerians, especially the people of the Southeast, and threatened to throw them into the lagoon should they vote for any party other than the APC. It is also, it will also be recorded that similar actions of violence was unleashed on Nigerians in the solo areas of Lagos and in 2019 general election, where APC soon discovered that it was being rejected at the polls, openly sponsored and unleashed terror on innocent citizens, destroying the voters' clash and taking over people's card. APC has begun an increasing dis desperation methods to ensure that they stay in power. We will be waiting. So this is exactly what is happening. Uh, people are being prevented from taking their PVCs so that you know they can manipulate the system and they can be the ones to decide what happened so pdp is accusing apc of all the things that they are doing right now 
says Tinubu, they're accusing Tinubu that Tinubu is the source, is the reason why people are not able to get what they should get. Okay, he said Tinubu is the reason. Well, it's an allegation we don't know yet and we cannot uh, dwell on that. But what we know is that, you know, Tinubu is being accused of not wanting the due process because APC is scared, just like what happened in 2019. Nigerians did not vote. Most Nigerians did not vote for Buhari again. What happened, you, know, you, are, you and I know, was a major distraction, you know, an attempt to ensure that, you know, uh, Buhari comes back. However, we humanly speaking possible, he comes back. So this is what is happening again. PDP is accusing APC of trying to manipulate the system in order for them because they are afraid of Atiku. They are afraid of uh, they are afraid of uh, Atiku. They are afraid of uh, Peter Obi. The popularity and all that is going on could possibly, you know, could potentially affect them. So they need to be careful. They need to tread carefully so that at the end of the day, you know, they, they are not uh, disgraced. So PDP says it's election fever. Okay, it says election fever. So this is what is happening right now. It says election fever. Well, you know, politics, you hear all kinds of words and all kinds of things. Uh, we wait and see patiently how these things will turn out. Elections are around the corner. And at the end of the day, you and I will be there to, you know, really say, if really sincerely speaking, you know, this was the person we cast our vote for. So wait patiently and see how things turn out. In no distance time, before you could say Jack Robinson, the elections will be all done and dusted. And we'll know, just like we now know who the, who the, uh, you know, press, uh, the, the, who are the flag bearer for the parties. So it will be, okay? So it is, it is what it is. It's happening right now. And the truth of the matter is, nobody can stand back and pretend that they are not aware of the things that are going on so my wonderful people it has become a real point of call please do not forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news remember you have a voice let's continue to speak out in one voice let's continue to speak out and let's not be quiet and allow those who do not mean us well to decide what will happen in this country God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. We must vote the right candidate. Bye for now.